Now, Funky, you recently posted that people who grew up watching messy reality shows like The Real Housewives and Love and Hip Hop don't have good conflict resolution skills. Can you talk about that? Yeah, so, you know, that was, uh, some of the blogs picked up an excerpt from the video that I did on Shanquella Robinson. And I was just making the point that when you look at shows like Real Housewives of Atlanta, that's on like season 14 or 15 at this point, Love and Hip Hop, which is like 10 seasons in, and you factor in people in their early 20s, these kids were 10, 11, and 12 when these shows were at their prime, premiering and peaking. And what they saw in terms of conflict resolution is running across the stage, slapping a bee, cursing somebody out, reading somebody. I mean, I can single-handedly tell you the Real Housewives alone even revolutionized the gay community. I mean, the gays sit around at brunch and just read one another just because they think it's the, the in vogue thing to do. And so that's the point that I was making that these, these youngsters, um, while you know the, the lion's share of the responsibility should lie on your parents on how you're raised, what they have seen in their stratosphere is when you get in conflict with somebody, you curse them out, you read them in public, you throw a drink in their face or you run across the stage and you fight them. I like to add to that. It is a, a reality TV and it's and also music. Because remember back in the day mm. when people had mm. rap beat, they would battle rap or battle dance each other. And it would be a little funny, but like no one got murdered. It wasn't like that. And now it's like, it takes very little for someone to kind of want to end someone's life or want to like really get violent. I think mm -hmm. we just, the, you're right. There's, there is no conflict resolution. Everything goes from zero to 10. Al, what you think? You know what? I, I thought about this. I, I looked at Funky's um, clip. Are we sure that it was reality TV that is the issue around conflict resolution? Because if we're honest, people have been fighting on TV forever. I mean, it's been it's been crazy things going on forever on TV. In my opinion, I think it's social media and the internet. I think that individuals are, are chasing likes and views, and they really have lost their moral compass, if you will, on, you know, resolving something. Instead, they want to show something extreme so that they can get likes and views. I, th I think it has a lot to do with the internet and social media. That's a factor. I can agree maybe, with that. Or maybe perhaps it's like, to take both your points, it's like the perfect storm of all of yeah. them. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, for sure. It's like yeah. three hurricanes colliding at once and you yeah. kind of have no choice. Because yeah. no politeness is went out the door. No one could just disagree and be like, oh, I, I, okay, I agree. To, it's always like, F you B, I'm gonna kill you. Mm -hmm. I, I just said, I didn't like your shirt. <laughs> like, I just, mm -hmm. Oh, you know what the funny thing? This. Right, exactly. A lot no. of that's going on for sure. <laughs> you know, the funny thing though, to me, Claudia, is on reality TV, this is one of the things that I was like, oh, I don't know if I'd be good in reality TV because you guys will fight We'll drag each other, throw each other under the bus, and then we'll come back next week and apologize and say, let's move forward. What? Yeah. What? I know. That's why I don't operate like game. that. You cross me. Don't talk to me no more. It was never comfortable for me. That's why I did one season on that show, because you are forced to go to lunch with someone that you don't rock with. Like, this is so fake. Like, I'm like, what I'm saying is not fake. I'm saying what I really feel, but I would never go to lunch with someone after you disrespect me like that. Right. But on one hand, for me personally, it did make me be open to talking to someone after a fight. Like before the old me was like, I'll never talk to someone after they, it did make me have to try. And I did find that helps me a little bit in my relationships. Like instead of just writing someone off, I will try mm. a little bit before I bounce. It's all on how you take it.